Hello folks and welcome. Zorin OS 16.2, the GNOME desktop. Today I'm going to be talking about icons, custom icons that you can download and install. I'm going to treat this video like you've never done this, so anyone can do this. Anyone can put in icons. If you look at my panel bar, you will see brightly colored icons. This is my file manager. And this icon set is called candy icons. I call it eye candy, but in either case. Just a little pun on words. So you can see my Zorin menu looks a little bit different. Software manager, files, and my Firefox web browser, for instance. So um, where this icon set is installed is also where this mouse cursor is installed. So if you've seen some of my videos over the years, you probably already know what that folder is. If not, I'll talk about the whole process from scratch. And I'll say welcome, folks. 1920 by 1080. My video will be more than two minutes. All my videos have timelines and chapters. Hopefully you have enough uh, to go by if you're wanting to know system information. And I'm going to use Alt and F4. Alt and F4 closes all windows. On my previous video, I'll show how to make one of those power off buttons. But I'm going to uh, open up actually the Zorin menu appearance section. Hopefully you have had enough time to explore the uh, layouts or themes. Uh, sometimes my Icelandic gets the best of me because I have different ways of describing things. So um, themes, we have um, regular themes. Let me open up the file manager just to give you different perspectives. And um, I will click the standard blue theme for white or white background and then dark. I also want you to see the icon sets are back to standard. Okay, whether I'm picking the lighter version or the darker version or in between. All right, I can also change the accent color. Got uh, green and so forth and so on. So I'm going to pick blue and go to other. So um, there's a folder that, that if you install these themes manually, that they will actually display in this area. What you normally have is this one and that one under general normal conditions. Again, I'm going to show you how to do this completely from scratch. So this is candy icons. This is sweet purple in here. I'll resize these on the fly. And rainbow. Larger version, smaller version. Darker side. Eye candy, candy icons, sweet purple, and rainbow, larger size. They're almost like neon. So the same developer actually created the two sweets and the candy icon. So I will show you a website where you can get hundreds of different themes and icon sets, including mouse pointers, if you're wanting to do this. Not everything is perfect, but there's a lot of things that work. So uh, as you can tell, I'm back to my standard icon set. So I'm going to switch this over to other two candy icons. And you can now see everything just changed. Now I'm going to close this, or I can also use Alt F4. File Manager. Larger size, double click, double click. One tip for you. So hamburger menu, the three dashes up here. Show hidden files. Another keyboard equivalent is Control H. It works with most Linux file managers. Control H displays hidden files and folders. I'm going to resize these on the fly. What I want you to look for is that dot icons folder. If you do have it, great. It more than likely will be empty. There'll be nothing in there. If you don't have this folder, like a lot of you folks won't, right click on your screen, create a new folder. Start with a dot or a period dot or period icons spell it exactly the same dot icons I've been showing this for years how to install these things in there the folder with that name already exists if you get that message that means it's in here all right so in my case I'm gonna make this larger it's right here what exactly is in here well the radioactive mouse pointer or cursor is in here whether I install 1 or 16, it doesn't matter. I sometimes do stuff in bulk. I installed all three of these things at the same time instead of singly. 
and you can too. You can also delete these in bulk. In other words, if I didn't like the purple and the rainbow, I could just hit delete right now on my keyboard and they go into my trash can. So that's how you can clean up afterwards if you don't like the theme that uh, you downloaded and that you're playing with. All right, with that said, I'm using candy icons right now. That's what these are. And this is showing hidden files and folders. So whether you click that or you use Control H, it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to resize this and I am going to hit Alt F4. Actually, let me check my downloads folder. It's empty. Good. Alt F4 it is. And I'm going to head on over to a web browser. That is Firefox. Are you a subscriber yet? May I encourage that you subscribe and not let the title of the channel um, steer you away if you're a younger person. I do have 166 videos to offer you. Linux is for any age. If you are looking for specifically videos on Zorin, if you're using a standard web browser, just click that magnifying glass here next to the about, not here, and type in Zorin. It will find all videos on my YouTube site that have the keyword Zorin in it. I have quite a few, as you can see. Now, if you can see the links over here in this picture, this is the coastline of Oregon, if you're curious, Oregon, USA. The little foot goes to gnome-look.org. It's a nonprofit website. It contains a ton of mouse cursors and also themes. If you can't see the links over here on your particular machine, whatever you're using to look at this video, then go ahead and click the links button, providing, of course, you've got an internet connection. But you can also watch my videos on the big screen. I'm going to resize the text a little bit because it's at 150% at my way. Okay. I'm just using my, uh, my control key and my scroll wheel on my computer mouse. So, oh, believe it or not, candy, I have, candy icons became very popular really quick. I've been doing quite a few videos in regards to this theme. But there is 798 cursors and umpteen, well, if that's the right word, there are lots of themes. Umpteen is not an Icelandic word, but anyways, I kind of like it. Uh, just having a little humor there, folks. So instead of using this search, I use the search up here. So what I'm going to actually use uh, is the word sweet, and it'll find these also. Because that's a theme, and that has not only themes in here. Uh, I don't want the sweet cursors. I don't know why it defaulted to that. I just put in sweet and hit, I thought I hit enter. But I think it was picking the, because my mouse cursor was downstairs. Anyways, let me continue. So. This person here is a developer, um, just giving them some credit for this theme that um, there's the GDK three and four themes, the sweet folders, which I'm mostly going to be talking about today, and the candy icons. You can see they're done by the same person, the same developer. All right, if you want the candy icons, click that, and it's only one file. That's the icons that you're currently viewing down here. So the bigger picture looks like that. One file, download, download, it's 1.3 megabytes. Click the back button. You want some extra folders. Um, what do I have? Well, I can either look through my file manager or just go to the appearance section. It doesn't matter what, how I do this, but I have two sweet, I have a purple and rainbow. I use the conventional close button. So. There are 13 files in here. So rainbow I have and purple I have. So I need to pick some different colors if I want to have some fun. So how about blue? Download, you can see they're very small files. And red, and how about a yellow? Just three things. All right, so I got the candy, the, the sweet yellow, red, and blue. And how about this mouse cursor? Are you interested in that? If you are, then type in radio in the search field and it's called radioactive this also has a very good explanation of what i've been talking about down here in the product let me enlarge this for you um, i'm not talking about the the whole statement here i'm just talking about your home folder right now dot icons mouse pointer mouse cursor and also your folder themes will go in there in my previous channel i used to talk about this one also 
This is for system-wide installation. And if you are um, wanting to install mouse cursors or pointers, let's use the example for that. For everybody, for all users on your system and future, you would want to install them there. But for your general home use, this is the best way because it doesn't require root permissions. This one does or pseudo permissions. So I don't show hardly this anymore. I did on my previous channel quite often. So dot icons is the folder I told you to look for when I began this video. So that's where you would install this one also in addition to the folder themes. So what file would you want on this one if you wanted this theme? That one right there on the top. This one just gives you the explanation. You can see that's also compressed differently. A lot of the developers here compress their stuff differently too. That's okay. Most of your file managers know how to uncompress things. So tar Dot gz is the file I want. If I don't like the radioactive, I got 798 more that I can play with. gnome-look.org if you don't want to subscribe. I do recommend that though. I do have a bunch of videos for you. I'm going to use Alt F4 and close this. And then I'm going to open up the file manager. Let's go to downloads and uncompress things. I'll make this larger. All right, so the radioactive and any of these other ones are compressed all the same way, even though the compressions are different. Well, these are all done in tar.xc and that one is in gc. They still are uncompressed the same way. Right click, extract here. It extracts into a folder. That folder just has an index theme and cursor. That's how I usually know that that's a valid theme or mouse cursor in this case. Right click, Cut or copy, your choice. Control X, Control C is the other equivalent. So I would generally cut that. And then where do I want to paste it? Well, I want to paste it in dot icons, but I can't see the folder. This is not dot icons, this is an icon folder. I brought that in from a different system. So I would go to the hamburger menu and show hidden or Control H. And then find that folder, dot icons, dot icons. And then I would paste that in here. I already have it, so I'm not going to redo that. That's what I'm currently using for mouse cursor. So we're clear on this one. I'm going to delete that on purpose. So I now have the candy icons, the blue, the red, and the yellow. So the candy icon is done the same way. Right click, extract here. You take the folder, you cut it or copy it, and you dump it into the dot icons folder. I already did. It's sitting right here. So now I, I'm done with that. I'm just giving you the procedure. However, these are not installed. So I'm literally going to uncompress all three and install all three at the same time. You can do this with one or more. If I had 20 of these things, I could do 20 at a time. Right click, extract here. That's yellow. Right click, extract here. That's red. Right click, extract here. That's blue. So I'm going to do three of these at the same time. If you're a brand new user to this file manager, maybe, or any other file manager in Linux, do you know how to multi-select? It's usually a click, hold the control key down, and click, click. You can do all three things at the same time by right-clicking and cutting, or copying. You can also do it this way. You can uh, click and drag your mouse, which starts with a box, and then drag this across to multi-select. You can also do it this way. That selects all three items right click and cut or copy. I'm going to cut them. Go to home, open up dot icons. I can either do a control V, which is a paste or right click and paste your choice. So I added blue, yellow, and red. What do they look like? Zorin appearance theme. So here's red. Here's yellow. This would look better in the dark theme. And what was the other one? I uh, blue. All right. Different view. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. I'll go to the home folder. I will uh, turn off hidden, control H. You can also uncheck that in the file manager. Okay. I'll resize the icons on the fly. Hopefully these are large enough for you right there. Open up the uh, Zorn appearance and I'll walk through the whole process with the lighter theme and the dark theme. All right, so we have the 
starting with the dark I'm going to switch over and it, what it's going to do is it's going to switch my icons immediately to the uh, standard ones and then I'm going to click other and then starting with candy so that's candy in a dark theme this is blue in a dark theme purple in a dark theme rainbow in a dark theme red in a dark theme and yellow in a dark theme so this yellow will look like it's washed out if I switched over at least in my book if I do it this way starting with the top candy icons again these have already switched from my standard theme to blue I'm not going to click those anymore because I think you got the idea purple just giving you an idea what these look like again I can resize those on the fly rainbow larger versions of those okay kind of in between red and yellow again I think this yellow theme would look better in a dark you must agree well maybe you must not agree but anyways we all have a different ways of looking at things but maybe these are too dark for you and keep in mind I'm not stuck with this color either I can also go with uh, let's say purple and uh, dark and other and yellow now that's in the purple tint slight change not very much though red look at the uh, different sets so you can mix and match or is it match and mix I'm not sure which back to candy I'll leave it in the dark theme for right now I can hit close and close would you like to know how to activate this mouse pointer because it's installed in the same location that I've been showing you the whole time with the dot icons that's this theme right here that I've installed the other mouse I'm sorry not the mouse cursor the folder themes this is the radioactive mouse theme but to pick it even though you got it installed you have to actually install another tool called gnome tweaks all right, the tool looks like this. It's Gnome Tweaks. Keep in mind, I'm using a purple theme. So your icons may be a little bit different. So install that from your software store. Then you can hit Appearance and pick it from here. This is your normal mouse pointer. Standard mouse pointer. That's radioactive. A couple of things in here. If you've never used Tweaks, here's your window title bars. You can turn off these keys if you don't see them this is probably why because they've been turned off and in tweaks it's pretty simple to do this with and also moving the buttons from here to here in other words from right to left or left to right okay so appearance cursor you, i know you can see these in here too but i'm just pointing to this right here for right now I can use the X in the corner. What's another shortcut? Alt and F4. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, folks, and thank you for watching.